Well, the man accused of killing his pregnant girlfriend in a hit and run crash made his first court appearance today. WMTW News 8's Kyle Jones is live in Lewiston with that story. Kyle. Tracy, Tracy Edward. Edvaristo Deuce was live in court today to hear the charges against him in connection with the hit and run death of his girlfriend, Ladrina Kubeloso. Edvaristo Deuce listened quietly as the judge read the allegations. You engaged in conduct that manifested a depraved indifference to the value of human life, and which in fact caused the death of uh, Ladrina Kubeloso. He was back in Maine for the first time since Tuesday's hit and run crash. On Wednesday, police in New York pulled Deuce off a plane headed for Haiti just minutes before takeoff. He waived extradition and was brought back to Maine for Friday's hearing. It's certainly helpful to have him back in the state and we can begin this process for the family of the victim. Um, at this point, though, it's definitely still going to take some time to get through the indictment process. He's being held without bond for now, awaiting an official indictment and a bond hearing. Deuce's attorney tells us. He'll plead not guilty. Initially, it's almost always the right plea. Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to look at the state's case, and it's, uh, it's generally the accepted practice. Outside the court, Laudrina's friends say they were there to show support, still trying to understand what's going on. The, the family members are very shocked, and uh, also um, the, the community it, itself is very shocked. They say the pair met in church and that he quickly fell in love, but recently one of Ladrina's friends said she was afraid. She just came back and told her that the, her, her fiancé, he's trying to kill her. Some say domestic violence can be common in the immigrant and refugee communities, and they're using this case as a way to stop the abuse. We want to make sure that um, domestic abuse is brought to light. We want to make sure that Ladrina's voice and her unborn child's voice is heard. Now, the prosecution says that there will be a harnish bail hearing within the next 60 days. Now, again, this was just the initial hearing for Eduardo Evaristo Deuce, and that the, the indictment from the grand jury, we're still waiting for that to come forward. Live in Lewiston, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.